Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this video we are going to talk about driver's license. Why is it so important to have a driver's license in the US is because everything is too distant and you cannot move that much without either public transportation or, or a car. And uh, we are going to talk about how you can just have an Indian driver's license uh, that will work as well. But before getting into the video, I would like to mention a couple of things. I have uh, posted a links of the Facebook group. You can check them out. Go post your queries if you have any on there and I'll be happy to help you. Uh, my Instagram is right here. Uh, Shoyal's Instagram is right on his face. If you want to follow him, go follow him. Uh, and let's just get into the video. Shoyal will introduce himself and then we can go along. Hi guys, I'm Shoyal and uh, my only credential is that I have a valid driver's license and I've been <laughs> through the process. He's been through the process, yes. That's it. And uh, it's very fun to not, not going through the process. Once you have a license, you don't need to carry your passport around. It's a it's an acceptable form of ID everywhere in the United States. And uh, well, you, it's more fun if you can drive a car around. Yeah, the one basic thing which I would like to mention is uh, to have a valid driver's license of US, you'll have to have your SSN, which is social security number. You can get a SSN waiver from, from the university, that way you can get a, uh, get a driver license. But it's always better to have a SSN and get a driver's license, because why not? That's the steps you should go through. Yes. First you have your social security, hopefully first you have a job, part-time job. Yes. For which you can prove and get your social security card, and then you can use that as an address proof and get your driver's license. So, Simple. Our, with our steps, we are assuming you already have an Indian driver's license exactly, and a social security number over here. Before getting into how you can get a US driver's license, I would like to tell you that even if you have an Indian driver's license, uh, you can drive a car here uh, for one year. Yes, from the date of entry. And it's tried and tested. He has driven a yes. car. Manjeet has been driving a car for one year. Uh, you have seen Manjit, he's a uh, senior of ours. And yeah, it works fine. Like, yeah, he was he was pulled over once, right? Yeah, Manjit was pulled over while he had his Indian driver's license and they... It's fine. Uh, it's not an acceptable form of ID. Your yeah. Indian driver's license is not accepted. But... You'll still have to carry your passport. Some of the officers, yes. they want to see your passport because that's, that's your ID as an international student. But... Uh, I'm making this video so that it's so much easier to have a US, uh, US driving license that you should carry that and that's a ID, sta that's a standalone ID. You don't need your passport with that. Okay. So let's get into it. Yeah. So first, uh, major myth is that you have to have an international driver's permit, but most states uh, in India will uh, issue a paper to you as an international driver's permit. Okay. This is my IDP. Uh, Shoaib has a paper, I have this card. I showed it to the Department of Motor Vehicles. They said that you still have to carry your license, the Indian license with this, because this is just a permit and it is not a standalone license. And if you have your license, you do not need the international driver's permit. The advantages of having an Indian issued driver's license is that you get to skip one stage over here, which is the learner's permit. So the license I got issued because I already had an Indian license is a temporary operator's permit which is valid for about four years and it, it's the only kind of license you can get. So you'll skip the learner's phase. So have your Indian driver's license. That's step one. Step two, you get here, get your social security number, finish everything else, you know, that you had to, I don't know, get good grades and stuff. And <laughs> then, uh, mainly get a, uh, mainly get a part-time job to get SSN. SSN. Yes. And once Indeed you have your SSN. SSN that is your first address proof. Your second address proof can be your bank statement. It can be your lease agreement documents. There's a whole list on the department's website of what is acceptable forms of address proof. Yeah, I'm going to... So, is there a different yeah. website for no. all the states? Every state has a different one. Okay, at least I'm going to link the Indiana one so you can check, out, check that out or you can search for your state, whichever you are going to. Yeah. And then after that, you want to get some hands-on practice. Uh, since we already have that Indian license, which is valid, Mm -hmm. You might want to get a car and get familiar with the rules of the road and stuff because there are two tests that you have to give. First, where you just walk in and uh, whatever I say mostly applies perfectly to the Indiana Bureau yeah. of Motor Vehicles, but it will be a slight variation in different states and you can mm -hmm. find the details on the website. So you, it's a walk-in exam and it's called a knowledge test. They give you 50 questions. You can skip up to five. 
So what you do is you try your best in answering all 50, there's no negative marking. And at the end, you know whether you've answered more than 44 correctly. If you have, then you pass the test. There's a PDF for it, right? Like yes. you can look up for, uh, for the PDF on their website and you can study all the rules and then you can just take the test. It's very simple. It's just They just ask you about road signs, rules of the road, speed limits, and a few numbers here and there. If, uh, yeah, it's, it's really simple. So you do that. That is your step one on that day. After you pass, they ask you to schedule a driver's license test in which you'll actually drive more, usually two weeks after your knowledge test. Yes. Right, And normally there aren't dates, so you may not get your BMV or farther out BMV. Yeah, because uh, if you have seen a vlog of mine, we went to Kokomo for our friend's driver's license yeah. test. So I anywhere is fine because you'll basically be driving. So it's okay. And you schedule that, get some practice. When practicing, make sure you know what to do with stop signs, you know speed limits, you know how to read signs on the street, and you know how to parallel park. The okay. best way to do is that ask a, ask a senior of yours to teach. Yeah, somebody who's been through the process yes. already, they know exactly what they're going to ask you in the test. So when you go for the actual driver's test, on that day you, you carry the same documents you did for the first knowledge-based test, and you've practiced your driving well. They assign a driver to you who sits next to you and tells you stuff like take the next right, mm -hmm. go go this way and they'll try to get you through a school zone to see if you slow down or not, which you have to, you will learn in the knowledge test. And they'll ask you to parallel park and about 20 minutes, it lasts for 20 minutes and it's done. Most people I know have passed. Yeah, w one more thing like you have to, so if even if you're getting, since you don't have a car, obviously you're in okay. a class student, we re he rented out a car, the friend who, who couldn't take her test, rented out a car as well. But you have to have the documents in your name. The rental agreement has to be in your name. It can be a PDF on your phone or it can be whatever, but it has to be in your name. So don't go for this popular service called Zipcar if you're using a friend's card. Mm -hmm. If it's a Zipcar in your name, you will get a document made to you that will have your name on it. So they use that as proof. How about if somebody is uh, taking the car of like for example, I have a relative here and I'm taking their car. They'll have a registration in that car and it's not a rental. So uh -huh. they won't ask you for a rental agreement. Ah, okay. so just registration papers. Your name has to be nowhere. I mean, they, then your name doesn't have to be on it. Only for rental, you'll have to have your name on the On some kind of paper, here. which uh, designates you as the you know designated driver. Yeah. So uh, just that because we went to Kokomo and we had to come back. <laughs> there was a problem with our friends. Yeah. Because we used a friend zip card and that did not have her name on the car's rental agreement. In how much time did you get the deal? Oh yeah, after you pass the knowledge test, two weeks, you take the driver's license test, another, they say two weeks, but I got my driver's license in one week after my driver's mm -hmm. test. So uh, it varies, it was peak time and I got it pretty easily. You get a laminated card. You get a state-issued driver's license. It is the perfect form of ID. It has your name on it. It has your address on it. It has your date of birth on it. So you basically will never have to carry your passport. Unless, Even when you're traveling. Even when you're traveling within US, you don't have to unless you're traveling internationally. But but see, I still recommend everyone to have their passports on them when they're traveling. Yeah. There's no better ID than your passport if you're international. Yeah, because for some issue, they want to check your visa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That can happen. So uh, that has happened. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, all the time. So let's talk about the cost of the test. The whole process, from beginning to end, apart from your travel and I don't know eating expenses, just cost sixteen dollars from the government or seventeen dollars. That's in Indiana, but I'm pretty sure it'll be less than twenty dollars anywhere. And mm -hmm. they just do that for your photo being printed on a laminated card. That's it. And if you're taking your rental, that might add up. Add so up this. Cost. This the sixteen or twenty less than twenty dollars is just the cost taken yeah. by the government. Yes, and the rental. If you want real cost from us, I would say uh, sixty dollars for the car, twenty dollars for that, twenty dollars to eat, so maybe hundred dollars the whole day. Yeah, but that license will last you for four, four years. years your whole and time. I'm telling you how ignorant you will be by this case. You will need a car in US. You cannot go around that. You'll need it. Unless you're working in NYC or maybe Chicago, downtown, downtown yeah, area. Busy downtown area which is well connected by public transport. Yeah, or you, you can bike or take a subway. You yeah. need a car. You need a car. So a couple of things to clarify here. 
If you have an Indian driving license, then only you can go through this process. If you have a learner's license, if you have no in India, Indian have, license, yeah. then you will get a learner's permit here, and then again a month or it'll be a three month long process for you to get a final. With a learner's permit in the US, you will always have to have a licensed driver driving with you in the car. Exactly how it's, it is in India, but it's, it's implemented much very stricter yeah. over here, and you don't want to do that. So get your Indian driver's license done. I got my Indian driver's license four days before leaving for the states, just because I knew. <laughs> but I've been driving for a while in India, so I only got it because I knew I could skip a stage. Yeah. So get your Indian driving license. Uh, if you don't have the international driving permit, skip it. It doesn't matter. I spent say fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred bucks on that. It doesn't even matter. Yeah. If you have a driving license, that is the thing yeah. which they need. Uh, come here, get a employment, get a part time job. Go get a SSN, and then you can apply to for the BMB. Go take a test, download the PDF, read all the rules, take a test. Within two weeks, you'll get a date, or after yes. two weeks, you'll get a date. You'll get a date. You'll get a date. Uh, take a rental. If you have somebody who ha who owns a car, take their car, ask them to teach you, and then go to the test and. That's it. Yeah. Oh, one. More. When you take a rental, make sure you check the registration document to be uh, that it hasn't expired, because rentals are pretty. I don't know. Can value with their volatile. Oh, yeah. Well. With their expiry dates, registration expiry dates, and unless you get pulled over, even you will not find out that the papers were expired. Mm, check that that. to me. So just check that and. Uh, just all information about the test you will find on the local BMV's website. Every state has a different. Bureau or Department of Motor Vehicles, and they're very informative. They'll they'll have a PDF for you to study from. They'll have an app on your phone to practice the knowledge test on fifty questions and all the whole drill. So there's lots of resources. You just look for it and you'll. Okay, I think that's it for the video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, hopefully, this will be helpful. If I have mentioned any links, it'll be them in the description. I've made some Facebook groups. Join it if you want. Show you to answer your question related to. driver's license he can do that there uh thank you for showing for showing in one more video he got famous last time thank that's you that's a you up for making a video thank you guys so much and uh, until then i'll see you in the next one bye